The shading tool is in the presence discrimination category. It is a tool that will inspect and monitor the grayscale intensity or brightness levels that are present in the inspection region. It can be used for the presence absence of print on a part or other features where a change in intensity can be detected. In the generic function list, this tool is known as the intensity tool. Once the tool is added, the first step will be to register the image if you haven't done so already. The registered image is a reference image that is stored with the program settings and can be used to set up the tool. In this example, the image has already been registered and I have another tool set up for position correction already. The next step in this tool setup is to set up your inspection region. In other words, the area on the field of view where you want to inspect for the intensity. As a default, rectangle is selected but you can choose from rotated rectangle, circle, oval, ring, arc, or up to a 12-pointed polygon. In this case, our part is a cap, so we're going to go ahead and choose circle, and let's follow the instructions to set up the region. So what we'll do is we'll set up our circle and center it on this part. Click OK when you have the region set. The final step in the tool setup will be to set up your judgment conditions. This is the upper and lower limits that will make the tool pass and fail according to the application. The measured value is the result of the average intensity within the inspection region. If reference image is selected, it is the value from that image. You can also run more parts through the system and confirm the values from each part. As you can see here, here's the red cap. You can see the intensity value changed and went up. Here's the white cap. Again, the value went up. And the yellow cap has a value that went up. I'm going to change this back to reference image to set our tolerance. You can see the blue part has a intensity value of about 19, so we'll set an upper limit and we'll set a lower limit. Once the limit is set, again we can run the parts and confirm the tool's operation. The blue parts are passing. If the measured value falls outside the upper and lower limit, you can see the tool fails, so the red cap is failing. Here's our white cap. Again, the value falls out of the range, so it's failing. And here is our yellow cap, so this is also failing. So it looks like we have a pretty good tolerance set. We can go ahead and click OK to finish the setup. As you are running parts, you can confirm the measured values of the tool on the screen. The tool will report back the average intensity, displayed as density average here, and the standard deviation of intensity within the inspection region. It will also give you the maximum and minimum intensity within the inspection region. Optionally, you can also set upper and lower tolerances on those parameters as well. To do that, just simply edit the tool again, go back to Judgment Conditions, click this little double arrow icon here, and it will give you access to the deviation and density, which is the standard deviation, and again, the intensity minimum and maximum.